total disconnect between what's going on in the real world and what's going on in the rigged markets. Rigged markets, LIBOR rates were rigged. It's a fact. Six banks convicted of felonies for fixing interest rates. Oh, and the Forex markets, currency markets that are traded at $5.3 trillion a day, convicted of felonies. But hey, Nobody goes to jail when you're a member of the White Shoe Boys. That's right, because corporations are people, so the guys that actually come into the crimes don't get in trouble. The company gets a slap on the wrist. That's right. So look at the numbers that are coming out in the amount of gold coins, gold bullion, that are being purchased in the United States and around the world. They're hitting record levels. I have some of the numbers right here. I had them right here one second ago. Let me see if I could find them. Ah, what did I do with them? I know that feeling when I have stacks of news in front of me yeah. and then I want to specifically. Here we go. U.S. demand for bars and coins up 207%. According to the World Gold Council, gold demand rose 8% on year. U.S. clocking ro robust global consumer demand growth at 62%. Check it out. In China, investment de grant demand grew 70%. In China and India, they're counting for 45% of total demand. Europe, up 35%. As you keep seeing this refugee crisis, as you keep seeing more and more turmoil, People are going for the safe haven. And guess what? It's not only we, the little crazy people, central banks, 175 tons near the record high levels for the same period last year. And this just came out. U.S. mint sales of American Eagle coins surged in November with gold nearly tripling month over month so let me ask you this question they're able to drive down precious metals commodity prices even though the commodities are selling at record levels that is a rigged economy just like the forex the currency the libor the interest rates it's all admitted to be rigged that's all come out now what we said 20 years ago it's it's all documented now so where does it all end i mean will this be the triumph of rigged economies where the insiders at the top make record profits and everybody else gets poor or what will happen as reality breaks away from the fraud? Will there be two new economies? Where's this going? Well, again, you look at these the gold sales and compare that to other commodities. Oil's down because demand is down. Nickel's down. Copper's down. Aluminum's down because demand is down. Gold's down because it's being rigged. Demand is way up. It shows it in the numbers. Sure, we it's know they the naked worst. short and, and they tra trade gold amongst themselves that never moves at lower prices to create artificiality. I mean, what's the answer to that? Criminal charges? Well, they're, what, the criminals are in charge. Who are they going to charge? You know, look at the guy, the criminal Eric Holder. Holder no, I agree. So where does it go? Where does it go then? Well, again, they, they, it's the worst thing that could happen for the central banks that were talking about negative interest rates devaluing their currencies for gold prices to go up. Because then people see what a fraud it is, get out of dollars, euros, yens, and yuan. Where's it going to go at some time Ponzi dies? When that time will come, it's becoming harder and harder to do. Well, Ron Paul and many others think we're getting really close, and the world itself's in depression. I agree the West is in recession, but... I mean, look at what's happening in Europe and other areas. I just think a lot of this is propaganda where they tell us the economy's great, but it's not. It's, it's kind of unevenly distributed. We're going to come back in two final segments with Gerald Salente and take phone calls from all over the United States. Then we've got James Dillingpole joining us on the Global Government Conference. I'm Alex Jones, your host. Thanks for joining us. We've got f six minutes now, five minutes the next segment. Then Gerald Salente of the Trends Research Center leaves us. We're talking to Rich in Michigan. You're on the air with Gerald Salente. Go ahead, Rich. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Gerald? Gerald's good. Go ahead. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. So I wanted to get Gerald's take on the salvo that uh, Hillary Clinton shot out at the comedy club. But I, and I had an idea because I'm not going to make a video. I just don't have the tools or, or whatever to do that. But my idea was to go to the comedy club myself, make a small flyer and tell the guys at the comedy club who don't make a lot of money and offer that to them to say, Hey, if you guys make a video, if you guys submit it, you can win five grand. Well, that's the answer is to get comedians at comedy clubs everywhere to make fun of Hillary and then win $5,000. Um, uh, that's the contest in fullwars.com forward slash contest. And it ends, uh, around Christmas. And then we'll have the winners the first of the year. And it's just about responding to her, her official campaign, threatening to shut people down, uh, threatening to basically break their legs. What does this say about the mindset of Hillary Clinton, Gerald Salente? Well, again, the mindset of Hillary Clinton could be seen with all her acts of violence. Launching the war against Syria, launching the war against uh, Gaddafi in Libya, voting for the Iraq war. Look at her husband, murderer as well. You love that Yugoslav war? Hey, how about uh, Madeleine Albright or not all that bright? Another psychopath on CBS after Bill Clinton put on sanctions against Iraq. People forget that Clinton was bombing Baghdad as soon as he got elected and was no fly zones. And they asked her, Leslie Stahl asked Madeleine Albright, if the death of 500,000 Iraqi children under the age of five was worth the price of the sanctions. She said yes. And she said yes. Again. Bring out the straitjacket, take them away. So what do I think? They're about war criminals. They're like Hitler attacking their neighbors for no reason. I know. I know. And no one wants to do it. And, you know, we have our forecast that came out in the Trends Journal back in the spring when the, we, the cover was the presidential reality show, and that was before Trump got on. And we said that as things stand now and as they still stand today, Hillary's going to win. And the reason being is that women are going to vote for her, even though they don't like her, even though they find her disingenuous, they're going to vote for her because she's a woman. They say it all the time. Again, that's what we're finding in our research. So it doesn't make a difference. And again, when you look at the level of the politicians, could you imagine Eisenhower going on uh, The View or yucking it up on with Jimmy Fallon. They've dumbed everything down. Let's go to their call. Great point, Rich. Uh, Eric in California, you're on the air with Gerald Salente. Go ahead. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I am a former Marine 3 tour Iraq vet, and I just had a question for you guys about Obama and, uh, you know, trying to stay in power with this, uh, with this going to war with Russia thing. What do you guys think about that? Is there a danger they could start a major war with Russia and try to have a civil emergency? I don't think they're going to try to start a war with Russia, but I do think there's going to be a civil emergency of some type. You cannot keep having all this violence without any revenge or payback. And that's going to be the excuse to let lose more of our rights and also may be an excuse to close banks and devalue the currency because they're going to have to do something to get this, get them out of this mess. Eric, don't hang up. I want to come back and get you to respond to what do you think as a veteran of openly backing al-Qaeda now, what Obama's doing, where all this is going. I want to get your view on that, your view on a civil emergency. Then we're going to go to Neil, uh, Paul, Brandon, and others. Gerald Salente is our guest. I'm Alex Jones. Basically, it's like we have mentally ill people running the country. That's what's happening. Power mad people. And we're just jumping up and down, trying to wake the country up out of its trance to stop these people. But Eric, you say you served three tours in Iraq. Now, years later, seeing what the Middle East has been turned into, what's happening in Syria, what's your view? Me and my boys are completely pissed that they've allowed al-Qaeda in Iraq and ISIS to retake all the ground that we've, uh, you know, put our blood into. You know, we're sick of hearing about it, all of us. And I don't think any one of us would really want to go back ISIS or be their Air Force or any of that stuff. It's just not uh, going to happen. Well, sure, and there was really good propaganda at the time that Saddam was behind 9-11 and the rest of it. We can look in hindsight and know that's a fraud, but I don't blame the troops who were misguided. I blame the liars that fixed the intelligence at the Pentagon. But now we know all this, and now they don't even care. They're backing al-Qaeda, al-Nusra, ISIS publicly, 
The Russians are calling them on it. I mean, have they jumped the shark, Gerald Salente? Thanks for the call, Eric. Have they gone too far? Well, they've gone way too far. There's no way out. Any, everything that the administrations have done are failures. You're hearing one general after another coming out and saying it's a mistake. It was just a report that just came out now about a, a general as well. Um, a former commander of, of special forces in Afghanistan and Iraq, retired Lieutenant General Michael Flynn. He told uh, Der Spiegel, the German newspaper, he said, F quote, first we went to Afghanistan where Al-Qaeda was based. Then we went to Iraq. Instead of asking ourselves why the phenomenon of terror occurred, we were looking for locations. This is a major lesson we must learn in order not to make the same mistakes again. He said it was a huge error. As brutal as Saddam Hussein was, it was a mistake to just eliminate him. The same is true for Gaddafi and for Libya, which is now a failed state. And by the way, he's the head of former head of defense intelligence. He went public saying they were ordered to back al-Qaeda consciously by Hillary and Obama. So, the, the, again, we use, it's mentally ill people that are running the country. And not only here, look what's going on in France. And the poor young guys are buying into the same thing. They're signing up in record numbers right now. When it's their government that brought the jihadis in. Neil in Arizona, last caller we have time for. I'll go to others that Gerald leaves us. Quick question, Neil. Thanks for calling. Yeah, I'd like to ask Gerald Salente a question. Uh, my blog's, uh, blog on YouTube is Global Economic Collapse. 70% of the U.S. economy is consumer-based floating debt economy. What happens to the U.S. if China pulls the plug, sir? I don't think China's going to pull the plug. They need business, and they're in, they're in deep problems. But Look, global my, slowdown my, is pulling the plug, right? Excuse me? But, but global slowdown does slowly pull the plug, though, doesn't it? Exactly. That's where it's all about. But again, our forecasts keep coming out. Our timing is wrong because they keep making up new stuff. You're looking at deeper negative interest rates in Europe. Negative interest rates? You borrow money and you buy bonds in Switzerland. In 10 years, you're guaranteed to get back less That's than That's Alice in Wonderland. So, so, so they've gone to Alice in Wonderland stuff. That's got to create some weird effects. It is. There's going to be a global explosion, a bubble of $225 trillion in debt like we've never seen in our lifetime. And then there'll be a false flag or real that'll get our mind off it. That's and right. they'll take us to war. Gosh, I hope they don't do it with the Russians. These people, as you know, are crazy enough to kill us all. Yeah, it's not going to be the Russians. It's going to come from some other place. No, they're not going to deal with the Ru the Russians. It, 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 I think the administration's smart enough not to push them too far, but they'll keep pushing. Gerald Salente, TrendsResearch.com. Folks should get your quarterly. They should sign up for your email alerts. Invaluable info. Uh, have a great Christmas coming up. God bless you, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Alex. There goes Gerald Salente, absolutely on target. Uh, we're just here ringing the alarm bells, so hopefully sanity reigns. And, and the generals are running around by the dozen saying this is insane. I mean, this is insane. We have crazy people running things. We'll be back.